Hey everyone, it's Matt from Cruises, Rooms, and Reviews. We've got a special video this week because we're on adventure and we made an unexpected stop. We were supposed to go to Cozumel, but unfortunately, a storm turned into a hurricane put a change in our plans as they sometimes do when you cruise. So instead, they brought us back to Coco Cay for the third time this week. I mean, what else cruise can you do where you can go to Coco Cay three times in a week? No arguments from us, we love Coco Cay. But because we were here and it was an unexpected stop, we decided to do something a bit special. We decided to do the beach club. We've never been to the beach club, but we decided to do something even more special. Welcome to the Royal Caribbean Coco Cay Beach Club Floating Cabanas. We're at Coco Beach Club. That sounds awesome. Is that the right, is that the sign? Oh, what's it say? Coco Beach Club. Thanks, man. Good reading. decent deal on these today because we made this special stop still very very expensive but not nearly as expensive as they normally charge for them so we decided what the heck let's go for it so here we're walking out onto the set of cabanas that's to the south I believe of the main club so if we turn this way you will see way out there a number of cabanas on the beach and up there over there in the far distance is the Coco Beach Club with the pools and the hammocks and uh, the beds, many loungers and another set of floating cabanas in the distance. And let me just do a quick 360 from here. You can see South Beach down here in the distance. It's actually quite closer, but I've got a wide angle lens going right now. And a number of cabanas. So let's take you on down to our cabana. So this is cabana number 15, as you can see on the little chalkboard that they put out here with your name. A little shot of the entryway into the cabana. Here we go. This is the floating cabana. Here you have a nice indoor seating area, the nice lounger. Now you guys know, if you've watched my other reviews, I will tell you the good and the bad of everything. Really nice, nice looking lounger, but you can see it's got a really low seat back, so it's actually not the most comfortable thing on earth. But. It is quite nice. If you're laying down, it's quite nice. For sitting up, it's a little, little bit uncomfortable. You've got this nice uh, table to put your things and your drinks. Interesting part, you do have a little locker inside this table, you know, so you can put your things in there. If you wanna go elsewhere for a little while while you're in the cabana, put your things in there. 
Uh, I believe you can create your own code. I'm not 100% sure on that. And uh, make sure your things are safe. You also have these other chairs here that are quite nice and another small table. Nicely designed, nice colors. One thing to show you here, this is a towel, one of the many towels they give you here. You don't have to bring towels from the ship. They will provide them for you at the Cocoa Beach Club. And they are very nice premium logoed towels. So moving on on the, I don't, I don't know, I don't call it the indoor part, but it is the roof part. You do have a uh, ceiling fan. Um, today's not particularly windy, so uh, it's quite, quite nice to have this, uh, the breeze from the fan. You have a nice little uh, wet bar here, uh, sink, plates for your lunch that they will bring to you and serve and uh, also a refrigerator that is stocked with drinks. Now, one thing to note, these drinks are not included with your payment to go into the, uh, the cabanas. So you can see there's a drink menu right here with all the prices, um, but if you're on a um, beverage plan or you're using your Diamond, Diamond Plus, or Pinnacle, beverage coupons, those work here also. So you can uh, put toward them towards any of these drinks. One thing also to show you, let me lift this up and pull this out, is you do get the full menu for the Cocoa Beach Club. This is the menu that they would show you in the restaurant, but being on the cabana, if you want, you could eat in a restaurant, but you could also just order the food and your cabana attendant will bring it directly to the uh, room. Now we haven't had any of this food yet, but I've heard rave reviews. I've heard rave reviews around, where is it? The filet mignon I've heard great things about. I've also heard great things around the cocoa lobster sandwich is supposed to be unbelievable. I may be trying that today. Maybe some filet, we'll find out. And then you've got your drinks and the role the rules for the cabana so very nice that they will bring that all out to you uh, a couple small things to show you you do have outlets on the wall so if you want to bring anything like a speaker or uh, stuff chargers for your phones they are there that you don't necessarily need to bring those um, if you just bring your charging cable there is an outlet here that has usb ports into it it's a, quite a nice little addition there, along with regular outlets. And then you actually don't need to bring a speaker because you have this little, I don't know if that's coming out in the reflection, maybe I'll move that way, board here. And basically it allows you, they have their own music selections that you can play, but you can also Bluetooth pair or directly plug in your portable device or phone in here to play your own tune. So we've We've connected uh, Rebecca's phone via Bluetooth and playing the tunes that we like through the uh, very nice speakers and sound system they have up there. So really happy to have that. We brought a little speaker because we didn't know we had this. It is uh, quite nice to be able to play our own tunes and have a nice speaker system. Um, they do give you these wristbands. Uh, basically, uh, you can put these on if you go into the beach club and to go get lunch or go in the pool or what have you and note that you are allowed to be in here but you're a cabana member and then you can put them back on here you don't need to wear them while you're in your cabana they also give you an umbrella in case it gets wet so moving to this door here this is your indoor shower that's provided in your cabana so a little seat here some turtle decor a mirror and then your shower. It is a uh, shower that you have to pull down the cord. Let's give that a quick tug. Yep, there it goes. It does work. Hadn't tried that yet. A little hook to hang your things, and then there's the base of the shower. So, really nice convenience after you get out of the salt water, and this water is quite salty, to be able to do a nice rinse off. So that concludes the indoor part quote-unquote indoor so let's move on they do give you these are some floating mats so they give you two floating mats to go with your cabana this is just a, a little area over here probably a seldom used 
you can see you are pretty close to the other cabanas, but not too close. Um, so this is one, that I think this is number 14. It is unused as of the moment. Um, but you can see the other cabanas. Here is your ladder to climb back in after you've been in the water. The water is pretty crystal clear. A little bit of a greenish hue to it right here. And here is the famous water slide. I say quote unquote water slide because to me a water slide has water automatically going down it. But this one doesn't. This is what makes it a water slide. They give you a bucket to pour uh, water down the slide. Um, if your swimsuit's wet enough, it does just fine. Uh, but uh, let's, let's go ahead and test it out. Let's see how it works. All right, now that we've proven this water slide can hold me, let's show you the rest of the outdoor. So let me pan back a bit. You have these very nice loungers. Um, again, if I was going to be a little bit critical, and this is a little bit, um, I do wish they would go up higher just a little bit more to make it a little bit more comfortable for reading. Uh, but these are very nice loungers, very comfortable, nice mesh material to lay on. Uh, so, really nice. Here we, we drop down a step, get a little bit closer to the water. Have a little noise in the distance because you see the uh, lifeguards are changing over. They ride sea dews out to the uh, lifeguard stand. So we got this little s spot here. You're close to the water. More loungers. An umbrella for shade when you're in the loungers. And then this is a nice feature here. This is a little, almost looks like just a regular table, but it is actually, let's see if I can lift that up with one hand. Your, whoop, it comes right down. It's actually your cooler. So they give you actually an unlimited supply of Evian water on ice. We also have one of our uh, bottles in there. And that's great to use, keep your water cold. And there's a nice, other little feature here is your hammock. So you can just lie on there and relax in the sun, be close to the water. Very uh, relaxing. We have another umbrella. And then this is your lunch table where they'll bring out and serve. And you could, you could eat over here, you could eat where you like, but this is a nice uh, lunch table with four chairs uh, to relax at and uh, have your lunch. And let me turn around and give you another shot of that. And there you go. You can see there's, these are actually floating cabanas. They're not hard uh, nailed into these posts. They actually are on floats and they float up and down the posts as, as they need to. And Ryan's sitting here enjoying a little iPad time while I shoot this video. Ryan? What do you think of the cabana so far? Good. It's good? What do you like most about it? Probably the slide. The slide? I, that, and, that doesn't surprise me. And the, and the funny thing you can do with the book is that one. Hey, hey, can you turn around? You have to turn around and talk to the camera. Um, if you, uh, you can do something really funny to your friends. It's kind of hard for kids to fill the bucket. They have to like go lay down, so I have to like. You have to lean down real far to fill up that bucket. Even I have to do that. Like, your friends are like right there. Oh, you could splash water on them? Yeah. Hey, yeah. do you want to show everyone going down the slide? Oh, and I need my goggles. Okay, you get your goggles on. I'll pause until then. All right, go for it, buddy. How was that? So the slide works as well for uh, six-year-olds as it does for, well, I'm not gonna give up my age. How was the slide? 
It's actually really fun. Awesome. Hey, can you tell everyone thanks for joining and for see coming. you from Coco K? You're from Coco K. All right. And if this video gets 1,000 likes or over, my dad will do double posting. Oh, I will do a double posting if this video gets over a thousand likes. I'll tell you, I don't know exactly what that means or what I'm in for. So one more 360 shot of the cabana. We're really excited to be here today and take advantage of this extra day at Perfect Day at Coco K. Thanks everyone, if you like this video, Please uh, do Ryan a favor for his uh, extra for his likes and hit the like button. If you enjoyed the content, subscribe to the channel, check out our other videos, and we will see you soon. Bye bye. Hey y'all, it's later in the day. Just wanted to give you a quick update on the some things since I shot the tour video earlier. We've uh, finally slowed down a bit. We went over to the pool in the uh, Cocoa Beach Club and hung out there for a little while. Very nice infinity pool. I'll include some shots of that. And uh, we had lunch, which was uh, really nice here at the uh, beach club. So uh, a little bit about the lunch we ordered. And I'll, I'll, I'll bring up some pictures. You'll, you'll find these pictures on our Cruises, Rooms, and Reviews Facebook page. But uh, also, I'll, I'll include these pictures in this video. So uh, we had the filet, really, really nice. Um, nice, uh, nicely cooked. It was still you know, warm, but, but cooked right by the time it was brought out here. It had a really nice chimichurri sauce on it and some nice potato wedges, very nice. Uh, we also had the, and I can't remember what they call it now, but uh, do you remember the name of the lobster sandwich? There's a cocoa lobster sandwich, maybe something along those lines, but it was a coconut crusted uh, lobster. Uh, just really tasty, uh, really good, enjoyed that quite a bit. For appetizers, we had, they brought out pretty much a sample of everything, so you had shrimp cocktail, uh, ceviche, which was probably my favorite, really, really nice ceviche. Uh, also had a uh, plate that had hummus, baba ganoush, uh, tzatziki, and some crudite, and some pita, and uh, that was also really good, especially the baba ganoush, which I'm not a big eggplant fan, but I still liked it, so there you go. Yeah, that's, that's how good it was. Um, desserts. I would say out of everything, the dessert was okay. I mean, I don't want to call it a letdown because it certainly was good, but not what I would have expected. You know, it had a nice brownie, um, really nice cookie. I think the cookie was the best part. It had a rum cake. Uh, you definitely taste the rum, <laughs> a lot of rum in that cake. It was, it was pretty good, but it didn't, it didn't raise the level that the food we got earlier, I thought, uh, you know, brought, brought to the table. Um, so, uh, just wanted to give you an update on the food and uh, we're still having a great day here. We're relaxing, chilling out. I think we're, Ryan and I are gonna go swimming in a little bit. There's a sandbar out there. I think we wanna swim out to that sandbar. Um, and then uh, this is the uh, signature drink of the uh, beach club, the Coke, I believe the Coco Cueve. Uh, don't ask me what's in it. I know there's some pineapple and other things in there, but uh, Cheers to everyone. Hope everyone is also having a great day.